What is up, guys? It is your boy True Exit of Seven here, and I am joined today by the wife, the amazing Maddie Exodus. Shirts on sale now. Uh, check out her TikTok and stuff for more information on that. But, but I had a uh, interesting comment on TikTok the other day, and it was somebody asking to see the contents of my wrestling bag. So I figured, why not? I'll do like a whole bag breakdown thing. We just finished packing. We got a double shot weekend this weekend, wrestling uh, at Dynamo Pro tomorrow. And then we are going to CHWA as always on Sunday, our home promotion. So figured I'd do a little bag breakdown, show you guys what I take with me to wrestling shows. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's dive right in, I guess. Okay, so starting in the top pouch, we have got some cologne this is just you know breather after a match or right before it because sometimes on double and triple shot weekends you're wrestling in the same gear you don't want your gear smelling like sweat man and then i've got got to be glued it's hair gel uh because you know underneath this hat is a head of hair i like to spike my hair sometimes i do a little faux hawk thing uh anything to just look you know fancy in the ring all right so then in this big pouch right here uh there's pretty much nothing. Uh, normally, I reserve this for, like, paperwork, and um, I have a folder full of, like, my health insurance stuff and all that fun stuff. Just in case something were to go wrong in a match, uh, I have all of it right here in this big pouch. So, now, let's get to the, uh, the main course, shall we? The main event. So, I will admit that uh, the top zipper portion of this bag is kind of trash, but, uh... Opening up here first, we've got the CHWA Tag Team Championship. So I am one half of the Tag Team Champions. I guess one third, technically, because I'm in a trio with Tommy Davis and l -Ride, and we have the Free Bird Act. So, but yeah, Tag Team Champion at CHWA. I have an oversized towel uh, that I stole from my grandma's bathroom. Uh, because whenever you go somewhere, I wear trunks and biker shorts, so... You have to get naked in order to wear them, and sometimes there's not a bathroom available or a private space available, so you want to always bring a towel with you to change for your own privacy. I'm telling you, it'll save you some embarrassment. And then I have this here. This is my entrance jacket that my wonderful wife helped make. Uh, she pretty well put all the patches and stuff on here. Got a bunch of like comic book like POWs and bangs, and then I've got Exodus and Varsity letters. Up front here, I've got uh, two little Mandalorians that are in love. Maddie has the, uh, the same patch on her entrance jacket, which is pretty cool. I've got Surfing Pikachu and Party Pikachu. Got that out of a, a 25th uh, anniversary celebrations tin. And then I've got a Sunflower Stormtrooper. This is for uh, Maddie's sister that had passed away. And this guy who makes patches made a bunch of the Sunflower Stormtrooper helmets for Chelsea. So I put that specifically on my left side over my heart. So, you know, she's always with us. So there's that. And then I've got my blue knee pads, right? These are pretty cool, pretty new still. And then uh, I've got my compression underwear for my trunks here. Uh, these are made with the Dragon's Guild logo on the back. I have two pairs of these actually. Um, I have my normal, these are normally what I wear for like weekly shows and stuff, and then I've got another pair that are identical that are my pay-per-view pair. Um, so yeah, so those are my trunks. And then I've got these armbands, and uh, normally I wear the DG one on my right, the Exodus one on my left. L-Ride made these, handmade these, uh, and every member of Dragon's Guild gets a set, so that's pretty cool. Normal, just McDavid elbow pad. Just a normal elbow pad. I don't, that's padding. But yeah, McDavid elbow pad. I've worn this for a long, long time. I've got my knee braces. Uh, I, I'm only 25, and I don't really have bad knees, but I figure, you know, as with how much I wrestle, it's probably smart to start conserving my knees now because as a wrestler, your knees are one of the first things that go out on you. So knee braces. I've got, you know, Adidas wrestling shoes with, with ankle support. That was a big reason I got these shoes. And I'll be honest, these are the best wrestling shoes I've ever had. They arrived and they felt broken. There wasn't really a breaking in process. And I bought them brand new. But yeah, they arrived broken in and they were definitely worth like the 70 bucks or whatever they were. And then I have my kick pads. Uh, these are still kind of relatively new as well. Um, 
I like the winged tip design thing with the white outline because it matches my, my stuff. And then up top here in this little zipper compartment, like I said, this is really tore up right now because I haven't had a chance to clean it. But I've got a bunch of dryer sheets in here to help mask. I got five bucks. Uh, I have the dryer sheets in here to help uh, with the smell of the bag. And then I've got five gum. I like five gum. I chew it in the ring a lot. Helps with my breath. And then I've got wrist tape. I've got a Sharpie for signing promo pictures. And I've got my scissors for cutting my wrist tape. The rest of this stuff is mainly um, just like junk and stuff. I need to really clean this out because I haven't had a chance to. So that's pretty well my bag. Um, I don't really think I've forgotten anything. So that's... That's my bag, and um, I, I don't know what everybody else's wrestling bag looks like, but I will admit this is the most organized my bag has ever been because normally my bag is all gross and tore up and, you know, just jam-packed full of stuff. So that's, this here is what goes in my bag every show that I go to. I Like I said, I have two shows this weekend. I'm looking forward to it, and, um, yeah, that's what goes in my bag. So, um pretty much it i can't really think of anything else you got anything else yeah, all right well i appreciate you all for watching this make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for all the kendama and wrestling and kind of whatever i feel like filming content and uh yeah man make sure to share the video with your friends and i appreciate all the love and support so until the next video here on twitch or on youtube i should say or live stream over on twitch jesus peace love and zombie slaying to all of you guys the wonderful wonderful true nerd nation i love you guys so very much and i'll catch you all in the next one later guys